Good morning, everybody. I didn't want to bore everybody with setting the truck up, so. Got a little floor to pour here this morning. A beautiful morning, too, just looking out over their property here. It's gorgeous. Got the truck set up. Should be a pretty easy reach. Should go pretty smooth. I'm gonna pull the ball and sponge back on the boom. Call another contractor and head to that job as soon as this is done. I believe that one's just a suspended slab, if I'm right. What a morning. Look at that. Calling for rain tomorrow night. Not sure how much. It looks like a decent amount coming in, but I'm gonna try out a new four inch hose. We just got these. It's not as flexible as our other ones, but see what they see how it does. Then tomorrow I got a little wall over in town. Shouldn't be too bad. Be in just before the rain starts. Got two two trucks left. Should be enough to finish this thing up. Be cleaned up, head to the next job. Okay, we got the job in there. That was about 48 yards. And uh, they're just now, they're getting pretty close there to, getting pretty close. I'm gonna get cleaned up. Uh, uh, I think there's another job I can head to here real quick. And I start getting it knocked out. I'm gonna try and do that. And may grab a third one today, not sure what's gonna happen, so. All right, so I'm fixing to get on the road. Got another little pour to go. It's only like 10 or 12 yards. Try and get it knocked out. Uh, it's right in the middle of Cape, and we will see how Greg's doing. He's got a pretty slow pour going right now. Uh, he might be able to make the one by one o'clock. If not, I'll try and run on over and grab it. So far, nice sunny day, beautiful day outside, and uh, trying to see how many jobs we can get knocked out. All right, so I pulled up. This one here is pretty, pretty tight, around the middle of town. So got power lines pretty well all around. I'm right in the middle of the street, so trying to keep it blocked. Just a little oval, probably 10 or 12 yards, probably in this thing. So I'm going to be really tight, Z. Uh, I believe concrete's coming in about 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna be a real tight Z. Uh, get this in, I'll probably just put that ball right in the pipe, put that pipe, or put the boom right back down the truck, suck the ball back, and uh, probably flush that water later on. So, shouldn't be too bad. I was actually gonna suck these back in, so if you're wondering, that's why I don't have the pads out. Uh, but, they can go around the block, so. I got a little bit of primer in there, I may just, prime up in the wall and let that let that ooze out underneath get this thing knocked out so I turned around I was sitting there looking at this 
That is a, I assume it's a house made out of those storage containers. First time I've ever seen one like that. Pretty cool looking though, really. I don't know if it's a house or a business or what, but that's different. that shoot out in there but our old concrete got one more truck to put in there right quick we'll be done with this I'm gonna put that ball in there suck it back run back the uh, plant and clean out then a pretty tight Z coming just fine seven bag mix one hour old This is just a 38 meter pump, but it is amazing what a concrete pump will do. All right, so I just got back to shop and uh, gonna go ahead and fill this thing up with water and get it ready for in the morning. Got a little wall about 30 yards. What a day. Greg's still out. He must be on that other job at the suspended, uh, suspended slab. So, the, uh, let's see what tomorrow is supposed to rain uh, pretty good. About eh, a little afternoon, I think it's supposed to start raining, or maybe 3 o'clock. So, uh, that'll probably be it for this week. After after tomorrow morning, it'll probably be about it. See what next week. We got a 11,000 square foot floor going. Peanuts, tools, peanut will be there. And uh, be a pretty good size pour. I'll probably be over there at the 38. So uh, till then, see y'all Monday.